Oh, hey yo! Good morning, Mina san. It's uh, Morgan Strong Comic here, and Gigi, and Kiki, and all the wonderful other symbols from that movie. <laughs> uh, so, hi, Sax. And of course, Sax is here too. My uh, little ones, uh, my elementary students, have recently watched Kanye and Kiki's delivery service the last couple of weeks, and they're really enjoying them. We're trying to spirit it away, and they really enjoy it, I can tell, but you know, they have a lot of questions. <laughs> But I'm so happy I'm giving these kids um, exposure to the greatness of Studio Ghibli. So the worst reason um, I'm doing this video is because I haven't done an actual full unboxing in a while because, you know, it's been con season and I've been saving money or trying to. Uh, I will be doing a Cape Comic Con re uh, review and swag video within a week or so. I have to postpone it. <laughs> um, because I left uh, some of my swag at my friend Jess and Lonnie's house and they're going to be out of town on vacation for the next week. Oops, <laughs> that was my fault because they were nice and let me stay with them. But I will definitely do um, a review video soon and then a swag video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do one big video or do two smaller separate ones, but that will be soon. And then Anime Senpai is this weekend and I will do a video review about them as well. I have, do have a big interview as well with um, my two narrators for The Hunter and The Bringer uh, for those who bought a Kickstarter ticket back in March. So that's finally coming to fruition and I'm really excited. I love Logan and Lexi so, so much. Um, they've inspired me to um, think of more ideas for these characters that I thought I might've been done with. So I'm not promising anything in the future, but I don't know. <laughs> we have to see. So I thought I would do just a fun little unboxing video this is all like amazon hot topic box lunch um like you know corporate company uh type people <coughs> my voice is shot i'm sorry um and i'm kind of whispering because it's early i'm doing this before work uh because i don't have a break until for a week <laughs> um dungeons and dragons tonight and then anime club and chores Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday, Saturday and part of Sunday will be the convention. So yeah, <laughs> last night I had to um, do edits and that was my relaxing time was doing edits. <laughs> Normally edits are stressful in their own way, but these edits weren't bad. Um, I got the worst of it done. It was just converting them over to the file and then sending them to my publisher. But yeah, that's that's how crazy this is. And then I'm going to take a little break until my birthday on November 1st. Yay. Okay. I'm going to get something to drink real quick. And then we're going to start this video before I go to work. All right. Oh, God. I know that's not the healthiest drink, but oh, I'll have to get some more tomorrow. <clears throat> Okay, so the first thing I want to show off is um, I always say I have enough cups, so I don't buy myself cups unless they're for like display. Um, like I have some pint glasses and mini slash shot glasses because I keep changing the names on Hot Topic and Box Lunch. Um, a lot of them are like Laura Olympus, Studio Ghibli. Uh, but I sell this and I freaked out because um, anyone who is really close to me and a fellow Mooney, say my Moon fan, uh, knows that probably my favorite character that's not a main character is uh, Pegasus slash Helios from the Super S season. I can't even get that out. Uh, season four. So I don't know how I found this cup. It was very recent. I was just like on a search for something um, and it popped up. And I like these types of cups, but you know, you have to hand wash them and I already have a Sailor Moon one that has all the scouts. Um, a gift from a friend and I don't use it. Um, I just, I love looking at it. Um, but I had to get it. So, and I couldn't find it anywhere else. I couldn't find it on right stuff or anything like that. So this is an Amazon find. So it's, uh, Pegasus and Helios and Sailor Super Chibi Moon. So, I mean, generic pictures, but they're beautiful. They pop. I love kind of the bluish pink tones that match the two. And what I didn't know when I bought it is you see that weird little point there? It's made to look at the bottom like Chubiosa's Millennium Crystal, the pink one of the future. 
And I was like, you kind of kind of see it. There you go. And I was like, wow, <laughs> that's so creative. And this is licensed by, um, okay, my, uh, toy. So it's a licensed product. It was $18. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely going to have to find a place to display it. I kept going back and forth. Like, I don't need this. I definitely don't need a cup. But I love that goes. <laughs> All right. And I also don't need fun socks, but I got a couple pairs of them because they were having a sale on Hot Topic. So they're bringing some calcifer stuff back. And I thought this was cute. And these are longer than I thought. But it's a calcifer. And of course, he's saying burn. And when I wear May All Your Bacon Burn, that shirt with calcifer on it, people are, really love it. Even those who don't know the reference, they think I'm being mean. So I thought this would be great to wear with that. I did like the calcifer backpack with the same symbols, but it was $50 versus these, which were like five or six. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll get my calcifer on with that. <laughs> I also love that like about almost two months ago now, they started bringing back like classic Twilight merch because that's when I remember started really getting interested in Hot Topic. I used to go in there in middle school um, and early high school just because it was the hip thing to do. But that's when it was it was more edgy then, I'm going to admit that. And they had like the, the screaming metal music blaring out and it was really dark inside and my mom was just like... <laughs> but I still always went in. I never really found much to get there. Um, and the music did scare me sometimes because I was such a wimp. But I started really getting into going to Hot Topic around the end of high school, early college, because they started really heavily getting Twilight merch, like exclusive to them. And that's kind of the Twilight I remember. <laughs> um, like my husband even got me, um, I'll, I'll tell you later. But anyway, so they're uh, bringing back some of the original merch um, for this generation. And there's a couple from each movie, which is great. Um, Box Lunch and Hot Topic has them. Uh, you just have to kind of, they advertised them more in Hot Topic, but if you search Box Lunch, I, it's actually most of them are there as well. And they have some also exclusives. So I have one similar to this. It's not identical, but it's similar to this one that I got actually at like Rue 21 in the mall. But I got this one from Breaking Dawn Part 2. And I loved it because it had basically the main cast, except Bryn Esme. And um, it's a nice, good fit. I really... I'm excited to wear it. It's already washed, which is why I had it separate. Because I'm like, oh, wait, I got to show it off. So, hi, Kitty. So, yeah, all the prices of the shirts are about normal. Okay, and this guy I've been trying to get for a while. I ordered him on eBay, gosh, ages and ages ago. And my order never came. Like, it never came. Although, the other thing I ordered from them that they shipped did come so I don't know um, but they were nice and refunded me back in early summer and it just took me a while and I'm like I'm probably gonna get it I think there's four in the collection I want this will be my second one so they released a couple years ago these um UFO head uh Yu-Gi-Oh plushies and I had to get my first anime crush ever so to Kaiba I'm gonna take a picture with him real quick that can be the tag the thumbnail <laughs> if it's good I love he has the dual disc and his necklace and, you know, it says Casey. There's good detail in this little guy and I really enjoy it as the official tag. Um, so now I need, no, there's five I want. My bad, I forgot that if I have Dark Magician. <laughs> um, I need Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician, and Yugi. I have Yami, but I need Yugi. So y Yami and Kaiba can battle it out in my room. <laughs> uh, they're about 20 to 25 each, <clears throat> depending on where you get them. Um, he was new. I just, I took him out of the container. So I wanted to see the details. Okay. Let's go ahead. And unfortunately, went a little shirt crazy during my hot cash and box lunch money. Because for some reason, I didn't spend that much the previous session. So oh, I bought a little something. I think I had thirty dollars. I bought a little something, you know, nothing crazy because I could afford it. Um, and then they sent me like seven vouchers more, which is like a hundred five dollars. And then I already had like 
save $20 coupons. And I'm like, what is going on? So I didn't, I think I spent most of it. Some of it was on gifts, which these obviously are not gifts. I want to show you this. But I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to open these quick. And Fox is happy the box is open. So they've been having these fruits baskets, um, Hello Kitty murders um, for a while now. Um, they've done that with a lot of characters, but for some reason, this is the one that Hot Topic and Box Lunch have seemed to embrace the most, other than when they did the Naruto one a year or two ago. Like, they did a High My Hero set. I didn't see a lot of promotion for that. Um, they've done a Sailor Moon set. I didn't see a lot of promotion for that. They've done a Card Captor set, which I'm surprised they didn't do a big promotion for that, but I was all hyped. And the first basket one. And I'm just like, okay. And like, I love Hello Kitty and I love Fruits Basket. And these are so cute. At the same time, I'm like, I don't have this desire need to buy all the products for some reason. So like I do like the Sailor Moon or Car Captor one. So, uh, cause they have like a mini fat pack and they have tons of shirts and necklaces and they could keep going in and out of stock at the weirdest times. And I'm just like, I don't know. So I got these stocks. They're like six, seven dollars, and they're real soft. And I don't have a lot of Shigure representative. Um, and I like the green. I really love this beautiful mint green. So I thought this would be a good one to get if I had to get one. So here's Shigure. And then the other one, it's I don't know his name. I'm sorry, the little grumpy, penguin looking guy. So real simple. They're soft. Um. I think they then there's like seven dollars with the sale. Um, I wouldn't mind getting. I don't need more shirts though, and I really don't know. I get a necklace, I guess, but it, they come in music of sets, and I don't need all of them, so I'll have to see. But yeah, that's an option. <laughs> um, they also had some new Oron shirts. And they just kind of snuck in there. And there's one I really like, but it's a crop top. And I had bought an Oron crop top on sale. And because sometimes when they say crop top, like my Minnie Mouse pink one, it's not that bad. I can wear an undershirt and it still looks, you know, decent and professional. Um, looks like just a layered shirt. Uh, the discounted one I bought, I love the image on it. And that's the only way you can get it. But it was a crop top. <laughs> like it barely went over my chest area. So... I'm kind of like, oh, and it was my size. So I'm kind of like, oh, I know I'm not that bold. <laughs> um, but the other crop top, I was kind of like, I can't tell. Because the other one didn't look that low either. So I'm kind of like, uh. Um, but anyway, there's that new design and this new design, which I am um, really excited about. I know a lot of people love this episode. It's not my favorite. Like, I definitely don't hate it. I, I do like it a lot, but... Um, I do think the image is perfect. All right, so it's the episode where Kyoya gets lost in the mall. I believe it's episode 17. And he's eating the burger. <laughs> and Tamaki's all over him with his dog. But he just got a meta. Which, fun fact, in the manga, the dog is a gift from his dad when he moved to America in high school. Um, they changed it up a little bit in the anime, but nothing serious. It's really soft. I, I really love it, and I love how the colors pop. I love that it's not pastel, because I love Oron, because they get a little tired of the pastel colors sometimes. And I think normally it's like, I don't remember. Oh, oh I couldn't look at the tag. <clears throat> 23. <coughs> oh, I just have allergies real bad. And then I mentioned Twilight earlier, so this is the reason I got really excited. So my husband, Derek, when we were in college, we saw all the Twilight movie premieres in my hometown. And it was really fun, because my hometown would do little things for it. Everybody was always so jealous. They were like midnight showings, or evening showings. Um, and he also bought me my first Twilight shirt um, on his first overnight work trip he ever had. And this was the design. It was from the first movie poster that I went gaga over. I had this poster on my ceiling. <laughs> it might still be there. So, unfortunately, I can't fit in that tiny size anymore when I was 18, 19. But 
I was like, I need to get the shirt again. And I didn't realize this was unisex because this looks really big. But maybe I'll shrink. But now I have my Edward and Bella. And I love that. <laughs> All right. And then they've been bringing out the Yu-Gi-Oh! merch, which I really um, appreciate. Okay. And this I got on sale. Normally it was like 23 and again, you just got to search because they don't advertise some of their new stuff or they, it gets lost in the shuffle. So if you know what franchises you like, go ahead and search. I got Seto Kaiba. Because he's my boy. I like this outfit, um, the original outfit from Duel's Kingdom. It's not, I Bow City one's better, but I like that. So Seto Kaiba. And he looks all menacing. <laughs> soft shirt. It's actually very soft. Uh, extra large. I don't know. I can't tell if it's... I usually look to make sure it's unisex. Because I'm a different size in unisex versus women's. Because women's are made to be more um, close-knit to a woman's figure. So you want to be careful with that. Definitely smells like new clothes. <laughs> <coughs> Definitely gonna be doing laundry Wednesday and Thursday night. <clears throat> and this one's really cool. This one reminded me of like something I'd have in the early two thousands, or my little brother would wear like um, a junior's version of <laughs> back in the day. Okay, yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay. Ta-da! It's all the Millennium items from Yu Gi Oh. Another one I absolutely dig. I could so see my brother wearing this. Like, I I really can. White um, graphic patterns really pop on him because he's got, like, platinum blonde hair. This says Millennium Items. Necklace, rod, key, eye, puzzle, ring, and scale, which you only see at the final season. But I love it. <laughs> it's a, and it's a, um, it's a little stiff material, but... Um, this one's definitely for women. I can tell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, about a month and a half ago, um, there was a big promotion on her universe. And they did went to Japan and they did Harajuku, uh, which is a beautiful Japanese street fashion style. That's been around for probably 15 plus years, at least, um, in high media. And... They made some designs just for uh, Hot Topic and Box Lunch, and some like only at their store, some kind of crossed, um, some, it was amazing, like I was watching the video, and there were so many I wanted, and some of them are kind of bold, but the theme was Studio Ghibli, so everything was Studio Ghibli, and oh, it was great, and of course they were expensive, um, not nearly as bad as like what you think a mainstream Harajuku outfit would cost, uh, <clears throat> but still expensive um I saved a whole bunch but of course oh, they did sell out because they were expensive um I went back and forth on this because I'm like this isn't the cutest product but it's super cool <laughs> and I think this is the one I would get the most practicality out of um although I don't wear this style often but it's still um a practical style so I will show you what I mean and I'm definitely going to keep the special tag on this one since it's a limited item. They have like a purple kiki dress that I love, but it has suspenders attached, and I just can't stand suspenders. Um, although super cute. Um, and it had like a little purple bow. Um, they had like a house moving castle skirt that was the castle that I really liked. A um, couple other kiki items. Um, Spirited away. Uh, I think they might have had a Mononoke or two. Oh, um, Totoro. They have some Totoro, of course. But I ended up getting a Spirited Away item. And Hot Topic shorts and pants don't always fit me great. So this is going to be an experience. But, okay, look at these sick graphics. Okay, so this is Spirited Away theme. So we got Haku. We got no face. Uh, 
hero. Chihiro and Haku. Uh, no face. So he's in the opposite of Chihiro on the other. Sorry. Is it hard to do? <laughs> other pants leg. Yeah, this should be it. In the back of normal. Um, but they're kind of a flared pant at the bottom. Nothing crazy like jeggings, but uh, I haven't worn a flare pant because um, it seems uh, almost hip hoppy to me nowadays. <laughs> oh, and then there's the scary teeth. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was like, this would probably be the one I get the most practical use out of. Um, but it was $60. Like, if it was full price, yeah, I use my hot cash on it. <laughs> um, hopefully, it'll fit okay. I, I'm between two sizes of Hot Topic pants wise, so um, we'll see. <laughs> they tend to run small, but that's okay. But I can say I have the official World of Studio Ghibli, a Harajuku collection um, piece, so that does make me happy. Alright, and I saw these little guys and I'm glad because I accidentally sat on my, one of my my favorite pair of kitty ears, metal, metal ones, and they broke. And I was just like, oh, and I tried hot glue and I tried blah, 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 and it just wouldn't work. So I'm just like, fine, whatever. <laughs> so I'm, I guess I'm glad I bought these because these are actually the most painful Ow, cut myself for me. They're ears of Keo from Fruits Baskets. <laughs> I do have little jingly um, Artemis themed ears too from Sailor Moon now that clip. So, and I have black, just generic black ones I got at Hot Topic. So uh, I think those are $12 if you want to get a pair. Which is a little pricey, but they're themed. So I'm not fully surprised by that. Okay, and then both Box Lunch and Hot Topic have been on their A game throw blankets, and I don't need any. In the last video, I <laughs> but when I show you the graphic image, because I don't think I can hold this thing up, you will see. I, I was like, I caved. This was the one I was really like, mm, do I want the cave? <sighs> this Pegasus. <laughs> I love this season so much. I love this poster. I've seen this poster growing up so many times. <clears throat> so yeah. <laughs> I had to get it. Um, oh, it doesn't feel as soft as my first basket one, which makes me sad. That's the one I use now for travel. And I've got like the classic Yukio has this middle school. That one's never gonna go away. And people give me blankets as presents. I've bought my, I've bought some myself. Um, three Laura Olympus. <laughs> okay, I need to talk to you, Hot Topic. Where's more Laura Olympus shirts? We've been in the new season. Things have been happening. I know that she's got the uh, published uh, versions of the books coming out now. Um, I don't know unless there's a contract issue. I'm like, um, we need more Laura merch because <laughs> they were rocking it hardcore. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And now there's like nothing. And I'm just so bummed about that. I mean, I have Laura Olympus fixes. Like I have some Etsy creators that I follow. And every time um, we're actually friends now, I we will just email chat sometimes. That's how much I buy products from them. <laughs> my last one, Chinchilla sent me. And I mentioned her a lot. She even was like, I love your cosplay post. <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> so, like, that's how obsessive my Laura Olympus passion is. So, Hot Topic and Box Lunch, you're really missing out on an opportunity. Because I know so many people who are reading the comic. Or they're uh, wanting to read the comic. Because they're seeing it everywhere. And you had a good thing going. So, I don't know. Again, unless it's, like, something you can't control. Get more Laura Olympus. New stuff. Okay. I know it might seem spoily, but you can figure out ways around it. Strap Persephone and Hades being adorable and people are going to buy it. 
And like the big I'm kidding, I'm not kidding. Okay. And this one is another one I had to have, and partly it's my husband's. Oh, I'm tired. I just kind of touch it. So I got Uncle Iroh's jasmine tea from Avatar. When I have a rough day, I seriously will sit there and think, what would Uncle Iroh tell me? <laughs> um, if there's any cartoon characters this world needs to be real, if there was a list, he would definitely be one of them. Um... And my husband was re-watching Avatar. And he kept asking, or he did ask a couple times if I wanted to do it. And I just didn't have time. And he started watching it. And then I was like, oh. Because I knew once I started it, I didn't want to stop. So I didn't watch, like, all of it with him. And now, I don't know if he's finished Korra. But I know we started re-watching Korra uh, as well. But, and then I, I got to cut to catch a couple episodes with him. Um, with Iroh. Especially in the second season when they have the tea and... And Hot Topic and Box Lunch released these, and they had this one on sale, and I was like, oh. <sighs> what I wouldn't do for you, <laughs> because you've done so much for the world. I adore this man, and this blanket is really soft, so I'm a little more positive about the experience for this one. The blankets are normally about $30, um, $20 to $30 if you're curious on normal pricing days. Yeah, this one was on a really good sale. I think it was half price. So I was kind of like, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so soft. It's like my fruit basket one. Okay, whoever does the Uncle Ira fruits basket needs to make more blankies. All right. I'm trying to find the uh, little... everywhere. Oh, that one was a tie that I just had. Okay. Okay. I heard something else pop. Oh my gosh, this one had way more than the Sailor Moon one. Okay, I'm just floofing my blanket. Floof, floof, floof. Floofing my blanket. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm going to do a lot of loads of laundry. <laughs> um, what else we got? Mm. I already did a separate unboxing video from this order. Uh, my last reason, when you check that out on the same playlist where I did the blind bags. Oh, this one I was freaking out about. I had to have this one too. Another character that is going to love that he does. It's Turnip Head from House Moving Castle. He's my favorite character. <laughs> I want a plushie of him so bad. And I'm so glad Box Lunch had this. And the back's really pretty too. So, Turnip Head's my boy. I had to get him. He's one of the main reasons I'm even like, okay, if I have to spend this $30 I initially had, this is what I'm spending it on. They also had for 19, again, I don't need cups, so I couldn't resist. Um, the Sailor Moon uh, pint glass set with Luna and Artemis. I kept Artemis, of course. I'm giving Luna to a friend, so that's all I'm going to say. Uh, but they're really pretty, frosty uh, glasses. Gently hand wash only. Do not soak. Do not microwave. Clear liquid. See, there's too many rules for these things. Good quality. Um, I didn't pick up the Luna one and examine it, so I know what it's like. Um, but if you want both of them on Box Lunch, then they are uh, $20 for the set. And it, uh, Luna's is frosty pink. Kind of like um, almost almost the pink of the box. A little lighter, but very similar. Alright, last two are kind of big, fun, nerdy items. So I love cute poskets. So I had to get the new card captor. So one's coming out. Um, a couple of them. I'm not gonna get all of them. But uh, this is the dreaming, uh, the season three opening outfit from the original '90s anime. 
Oh, not dreaming. Sorry, I am a dreamer. There's dreaming and I am a dreamer. <sighs> Dreamy's my favorite one, though. The season two outfit. I think I have two different figures of that. And I'm so glad that one got some representation because that opening was only used for like 11 episodes. Which annoyed me really bad. <laughs> they could have split it down the middle. Um, not that I don't love it. <coughs> Sorry. Love the original opening. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> But yeah, this has been either on my Amazon or eBay or list. And then they had it randomly at Box Lunch. So I got to use my Box Lunch money on it. And I was like, heck yeah. It's uh, $29 normally at Box Lunch. Sometimes like on Amazon stuff, I see it like at 24 at the lowest. So I'm just going to cut down the middle here. You guys know I'm really good at putting these things together. <laughs> At least it's not acrylic stands. Oh my lord. Should, if you watch that video of me doing the unboxing of the blind bags, yeah, you can see. I need the star rod. Oh my gosh, get out. <laughs> That was anti-climatic flop. <laughs> Alright, so there's the detail of the outfit. I feel bad. <laughs> Jennifer Dale shoes. One sock is supposed to be bigger than the other. And she does work gar a garter with this one. So, you know, like any real magical girl would. And then the star one is still my favorite. I love them all, but the star one is my favorite. I became obsessive with stars because of this show. Like I always like stars, but now I'm like obsessed with stars. I mean, I named my main character of Spirit Vision Starry Moon because I love stars so much. Ta-da! Beautiful. So yay, another card capture figure. I don't have room in my card capture figure section, but um, I wanted this one. And then there's um, the season second opening of Clear Card, the red heart outfit one. I would really like the figure for that one. It's like $40 at the maximum. Um, I do like the first outfit too, but the official figures for them are like $170. Yeah. I don't remember if there's a cute basket, but I got a little chubby fide acrylic one that actually was really easy to set up for like 10 Hot Topics. I'm like, well, okay, well, the outfits are percent. <laughs> All right, and here's my big purchase. I've been wanting for a long, 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 long time. Yes, it's a bat pack, but in exchange, I am selling one from the same series. Oh, I didn't realize it came with the, um, cool. Okay. So it's Chihiro and Haku from Spirited Away. One of my first purses was a beautiful seafoam green Haku that I love. I love it, but I never got to use it. I just, or I haven't had a chance to use it. Um, but when I saw this one, it's purple. It's got both of them. It's got the romance. So I kind of, um, it's got way more space. So I'm kind of like, mm -mm. and it's only normally, um, you know, I'm seeing now it's got double side pockets. I think it's normally 70, 80. Okay, never mind. So expensive, but. Yep. And this one came with the coin purse, which I knew there was a set for that, but I didn't realize this one came with it. So. Oh, my. Shut up. It's got an attachment on the strap. A Beauty and the Beast one has it just where you hang it on the. Uh... Oh, no, maybe it had one too, but it was on the strap. But yeah, wow. I'm really glad. No, I'll probably live with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got some. Oh, well, and the cat's excited because the box is now empty. <laughs> All righty. So we got that. Got the hood. 
okay, my alarm goes off. And on the back, we've got um, the mouse with the little birds and we got the paper birds, which were around my original home. So that was also, I had all these factors for me to be willing to trade in one of my original backpacks. Um, but that was, that was it. So it's got double compartments. I love this beautiful lavender, this green, this hockey. Well, it's not quite hockey green, but it's close. Tear out of the paper. My Uncle Iroh bag is being very useful right now. Maybe. He's getting full though. Uncle Iroh, no. Can you do it? You are the dragon. Make sure there's none of those little ones. Okay, so it's got the little paper birds inside. It's got um, a flap sewn inside. I can now use this one. Um, I use my Hex Girls one. I'm going to use that for the spooky season, as I call it. And I wore it to the convention. Um, and everybody loved it. All the Ruby actors loved it. All my friends loved it. Um, the only one who didn't know was, who it was was my Kia, the yellow Zeo Ranger. She was special guest. She was awesome. And she's like, is this a show? And we're like, oh, it's from like the Witch's Ghost, the 90s Scooby-Doo movie. Um, they just, Hex Girls just kind of took over the show. Oh, the Spirited Away is hard to tell, but the Sid's Brights. At the top, holding little star candies. Oh, look how beautiful this is, guys. Pockets. Double-sided, like my Harry Potter one. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Glide. And this one is 80, um, but you get the coin purse with it, which I didn't know. I figured just because it was double-sided. Um, but again, I only paid half of that, or a little less than half of that, because I had some uh, bonus money, um, like certificates to use as well. Oh, and, um, it's just no face on the front. A little quick purse, but I do love it. All right, and that's my haul I've been saving to show you guys for quite a while. <laughs> I'm surrounded by stuff, nerdy stuff that I don't need to spend money on, but I, I love it. Um, I mean, the stuff makes me happy and you know, it's good to be happy in your soul. Um, but again, I'm, I am trying to slowly, like if I buy something, um, give something away in exchange because one's fairs <laughs> and to um, pass on the nerd love, um, because I think that's, um, anyone's job when they love something is to pass it on to the next generation um, while you still love it for your own. And that's what I'm going to be um, working on. That's why I keep continuing to be a nerd for not myself, but for other people, because apparently um, that inspires others, which kind of shocks me, but I'm very, very happy about that. <laughs> All right, so I will nerd on. <laughs> Okay, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will talk to you next time. We have some uh, October convention review videos that'll be coming up on this channel, and then my birthday will be coming up. Um, and then um, really soon, I should be revealing my new book. Uh, we had to go through kind of a weird printing error, um, and I had to do some last minute edits. Um, so I think um, it's officially released on Amazon. But the final copy will be pushed out in about hopefully two or three weeks. So I will keep you guys posted. But yes, the book is done. The tenth, My 10th book in 10 years. Yay. <laughs> and of course, um, the audio book for both the Spirit Vision 2 and Hunter and Bringer 1 should be out by Christmas season for the holidays, for stocking suppers or whatever you want or for yourself.